Hello, everybody, and welcome. Um, we are playing some more Elder Scrolls Online today. Uh, thanks to Bethesda for sponsoring today's stream. Um, they're sponsoring the stream because uh, for two reasons. One, uh, the High Isle DLC is coming out in, I think, four days for PC. Um, it'll explore the home of the Bretons, and you'll get to see, like, Hyle and all the Breton homeworld and a place I don't think we've ever been except for uh, Daggerfall, which kind of had everywhere, but it, in small doses. So this is going to be, like, first time we'll see Hyle and, like, how the Bretons over there function as a society. Um, that'll be coming out on the 6th. It comes out on the 21st for um, the consoles, but the PC version comes out um, in, a, in a few days. Um... And uh, another reason is there's Twitch drops going on right now. If you watch four hours of Elder Scrolls Online in any increments, like you can watch a half hour here, half hour there, from now until the 10th, you earn drops in game, including uh, two Ouroboros crates, which is the, those crates that can have some nice little uh, cosmetics in it, and a ghost pet. So if you want a little uh, ghost cat pet, um, you can earn that just by watching for uh, four hours. We'll be playing four hours today, so if you guys want to earn it today, just watch the whole stream, and bam, you'll have it in your inventory. Just go to um, make. I'm gonna put a link in chat here. Uh, make sure you click that. Make sure your account's linked. Um, link your Elder Scrolls account to your Twitch account, and that way it can put it, the drop into your game. Um, so just watch the stream today. Watch the whole stream, and or and you'll uh, get your Twitch drop. Um, all four, all three of them. Um, and it'd be easy peasy. Uh, we're gonna make a new character today. Um, and we're gonna try out, they made some changes to um, the way um, stats work so that hybrids now function. So you can be, um, abilities will now scale off of both weapon damage and spell damage. So that way you can have hybrid players, fi uh, characters finally. Um, so we're going to try out and see if we can make a hybrid character of like a little bit of spell power, a little bit of um, physical power, and see if we can make that work. So I'm going to try to pick a class that goes good with that. Um, let's see. Let's do... Outermary Dominion is stupid elves. I don't like them. Daggerfall is... Hmm. Let's try Daggerfall. Pretty blue. Um... What class do we want? Let's see. Sorcerer, Dragon Knight, Templar, Warden, Necromancer, Nightblade. Let's do. I don't think. I have not done a Templar yet. And when I think of Templar, I think of hybrid, magic, and physical. So let's go ahead and uh, try. Um, let's see. We'll do. He'll be the Paladin. Um, let's go with good hybrid race. Let's do Imperial, I think. Um, bonus to gold, trap rate, shield proficiency, base health and stamina, construction abilities make them resolute fighters. Hmm. Let's see. Or Breton. Base magic and magic recovery, light armor, alliance point gain, spell resistance, cost spell reduction of spells, on cast spells of little pause. Hmm. Bonus of gold rates. Um, ooh, Argonian though. Uh, bonus to healing done, restoration stabs disease, resources gained from consuming potions. Swimming speed, with base health, magic, and stamina. Dark elf, wood elf, orc, heavy armor. Uh, bonuses to heavy armor use, sprinting, weapon, and spell damage. Inspiration gain, weapon efficiency, with base health and stamina. Orc kind of sounds like they get bonus weapon and spell damage, which is kind of what we're going for. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see. Red guard. I think we're gonna go. Healing 
done. Resource game from the potion. Yeah, let's go orc. We'll be a mighty holy orc. The paladin. Mm, very muscular. Yes, orc. Very tall orc. Alright, let's see. Body. I think he doesn't need body markings. Heroic. That looks pudgy, not heroic. <laughs> Hairstyle. We'll be an orc that's been raised by uh, knights. So I'm a stoic orc. With luscious hair! Oh my god, yes. Luscious hair. Flowing locks of gorgeous red hair. Most beautiful hair ever. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll play the tutorials. It does have some story. Ah, uh, Paladin's taken. Okay. Let's see. Orc. Holy... Um... Orc... Smork... Holy Smork... Holy Smork... Name already used. Damn! <laughs> I've been thinking about MMOs. This all the names are already taken. How about, um... Maybelline! No. Stendars... Fist. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I am Stendar's fist. You're awake. Hello. Thank the stars. Woo, okay, that UI is very very tiny. Is it under video? Custom sky Oh thank god, hallelujah. I can see now. Woo, UI was like Itty baby. <laughs> we want dialogue to be very high. Music is wonderful, but it needs to be toned down a bit. It to be a little intense sometimes. Music, video subtitles, NPC subtitles, yes. Right, um, video. Gameplay. Auto add to craft bag. Camera. First person looks fine. Maybe make it a bit wider, I think. No head bob. There we go. Hi. There you are, on your feet. I know magical translocation can really upset the stomach. Just take a moment and get your bearings, all right? Uh, uh, where am I? The Isle of Balfiera, home of Clan Berini. I apologize for the cramped accommodations. We pride ourselves on courtesy, but circumstances here have taken a turn for the bizarre. I needed to make sure you weren't a danger to yourself or others. One thing that's wonderful about this MMO, fully voiced, even minor characters. Can you let me out? 
You might not be so eager to escape once you hear what's going on. You arrive via a portal, along with a deatric beast called Shyazel. It seized control of our golems and unleashed them on the island. If I free you, will you help me stop Shyazel? Yes, yeah, set me free and I'll help. I will smite this Wise evil. Choice. Just give me a moment. There. That should unlock the door. When you're ready, follow me. Let me do some... Attribute resource numbers. Number on. Camera. Let's lower this down a little. It's a little high. Aha! Daily reward. Oh, hello. What's my daily reward? Crown experience scroll. Yes, please. I will put that daily reward to use right now. Yay! 50 experience for two hours! Yay! Nut brown ale. I'll take that. Hi there. There you are. Free as a spring cricket. I hope you intend to keep your word. We'll need each other out there. Of that, I'm certain. The name's Norianwe, by the way, of Clan Dorini. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Hello, going that way. Um, where are we headed? We're bound for a place called the Key Rights Gallery. But first, I need to know you can defend yourself. Hurtling through the orbis and falling flat on your ear left you a bit scattered. Find a weapon, and we'll work out the cobwebs. Fair. Sure, but I have some questions. Of course. I can't promise total transparency, but I'll be as forthcoming as I can. You mentioned a Keyrites Gallery. What is that place? The Keyrites Gallery is an ancient substructure of Balfiera Island, built long before my clan arrived. Um, if you're going to be heavy crafter, I highly recommend the optional subscription because it gives you this crafting bag that holds infinite crafting materials. It's kind of amazing if you're a crafter. Why is it called the Key Rites Gallery? On account of all the doors. The gallery is full of ancient gates, each with some arcane connection to places in Tamriel and beyond. Once the gates came to life, rifts opened. You fell out of one of them. The Daedra, Shyazel, emerged from another. Uh, thank you very much for the resub, uh, Forgotten Ash, Chiyo, uh, Vixu, No Pants Ants with the brand new sub. No Pants Ants, what's going to be your first ever subscriber emote? If you decided. Uh, Michal, Cranston, Mikis, Kredoxy, uh, and thank you for the bits, uh, Kronos. How did you escape? I cast an incantation of the steed, snatched you up, and fled as fast as my feet would carry me. I heard the Daedra cursing. Followed by some kind of explosion, but I didn't look back. I hope the gallery is still standing. What are you doing here? Nothing irresponsible, if that's what you're asking. I'm a member of Clan Dorini's Intelligence Guild, the Cinderel. More scholar than spy, I assure you. I was conducting some research in the gallery, then pop! You and that monster arrived. Uh, why are you studying this place? The gallery's always been a place of special interest for the guild. But we never quite cracked how it worked. Despite the dangers, this is our greatest breakthrough to date. The guild master will be ecstatic, provided we get it under control. You said something about golems. What's going on here exactly? Would it frustrate you to hear that I have no idea? We Dureni are cautious by nature, so the Isle of Bolfiera has many defenses. Magical stone guardians protect many of our sacred sites. But somehow, this Daedra found a way to turn them against us. Can you describe the Daedra, Shalazel? Oh, do I have to? If I recall my studies correctly, I'd say it's a harvester. A huge serpentine creature that feeds on souls and magicka. If it finds a way to consume the energies of the gallery, we will be in very serious trouble. Goodbye. Uh, let me... My Pale Frost Elk Mount's been added to my collection. 
Alright, let's see here. Sword and shield. Great axe. Healing staff. Fire staff. Daggers. Bow. Well, if I have to pick one of those. Um. Let me take the sword and shield. It's very knight like. And I'm a. Larger weapons warrior. like staves and great axes will take both hands to use. You can pair smaller weapons with a shield, or another weapon of that size. The choice is yours. Yes, I am Stendar's Fist, a gloriously beautiful orc raised by Knights of Stendar. And I am here to smite the great evil. Yes, I think that one suits you. If you change your mind, feel free to take any other weapon you want. Now, let's find a spot to practice. Take the um, well. oh, hello, ghost dun, dun, dun. decorative wax and pooter wax harvester. I love my orc's luscious um, red hair. Absolutely beautiful. This is as good a place as any. Now, prepare yourself. Well, I conjure up a dance partner. Uh. Let's begin. Quickly now, strike the construct. Impressive. Well done. I got it. Hit it again. Brilliant. I'm yeah, I'm good at this. Ready yourself. Quick, strike while it's off balance. Hold charge of heavy attack. That's the way. Well done. Protect yourself. Use your heaviest attack. You're a natural. Keep up the defense. Give oh, it everything no. you've got. Now some foes will try to restrain you. Quickly, break free. Again, make ready. Gotcha. Prepare yourself. Now, bash the cons. Now, press your advantage with a heavy attack. Whee! Interrupt now, before it strikes. Whee! Again, hold its attack. Whee! When your enemy prepares an attack, good. Now, destroy it. I shall smite no thee. Come speak with me for a moment. Forgotten adventurers' breaches. I will take them. Hi there. With moves like that, the Daedra doesn't stand a chance. Yes, I'd say we're ready to set out. With basic attacks like that? Oh, wow. You are very easy to impress. To reach the Key Rides Gallery. We have to make it out of this ruin and across a wide field full of the golems I mentioned. With any luck, we'll be able to slip past them. But I'm not all that lucky, so I'm sorry in advance. Um, all right, we'll head there next. What can we expect to encounter in the gallery? Well, it begins with a door, the first of many. The only way to access the gallery is through a mysterious gateway. Once we pass through that initial door, We'll step into a huge vault. This is the part that worries me most. Dan, you can't play uh, MO once every year. It takes a lot of space in your, your storage to play just for a few hours. Now you need to delete this massive file later. Um, I have fiber, so it, the 100 gig game downloaded in about 10 minutes. Um, so it was... I can easily take 10 minutes to download a game and delete a game. And I have 4 terabytes of storage, so it's easy for me. <laughs> Why does it worry you? I believe Shiazel, the Daedric creature that's causing all this mischief, may have nested itself in there. So be prepared to fight. Oh, I shall. Well, dealing with Shiazel, passed by the golems? I can't say anything with certainty, but ridding the world of an otherworldly abomination can't hurt, right? Its influence might linger for a time, but the golems should return to normal before too long. Hopefully. 
<laughs> it takes Science Brothers to download a game? Probably. But internet's, uh, internet now has gotten to the point where it's so good. I remember back in the day it taking overnight to download a game. <laughs> like it would take, I remember on dial up, God, <laughs> dial up, I'd have to leave it there downloading. And sometimes it would take 36 hours to download a game. Well, I remember the original World of Warcraft, I downloaded it on dial up and that took so long. It just had to sit there downloading for the longest time. And it was like, and then sometimes when it was downloading, it would fail. And then you'd have to redo it all over again. And it was torturous. Now it's just like, beep. And streaming video or streaming video game. That was no, like when I was playing games on dial-up, never even my life thought we could ever have that. Like it would be so fast. You could stream it in real time. Like. Holy crap. Let's go. Yeah, and updates on games were very low. Let's be on our way. A word of Uh notification Oh, I leveled up. Actually point and skill point. Uh let's go for stamina for now. We'll upgrade our stamina and then Ooh, level five, you get two. We'll do a mix of stamina and magicka. Try to do a hybrid character this time. And see how well that works. Skill lines. Let's see. Adric's Spear. Dawn's Wrath. Oh, these are my class abilities. Puncturing Strike. Launcher of Relentless Assault. Striking enemies in front of you four times with your Adric's Spear. Deals magic damage to all closest enemies. Dawn's Wrath. Sunfire. Blast enemy with a charge of radiant heat, dealing fire damage and additional fire damage over 10 seconds. Chronic Vation, you gain major savagery, major prophecy, increasing your weapon and spell critical by uh, a bunch for 10 seconds. Restoring light. Um, heal yourself uh, for a bunch of, of healing. More weapon, one handed and shield. Puncture. Flash your weapon with discipline, precision, an enemy dealing damage. Condom attack you for 15 seconds. Well, let's go for puncturing strikes first to start unlocking that tree. Aha! Apparently, I forgot everything. Bum, bum. Ah, we'll get everything eventually. I just up to my first three levels, getting all the basic skill stuff. Let's see, skills. Um. Each strike reduces move speed to the closest enemy variable. One, one radial sweep. The skills a must have, the puncturing strikes. Yeah, seems like it's a good one. Hello, let's think. Jasmine Tea. How lovely. One of my favorite games and parts about this MMO is just running around looting urns. I don't know why, but I really enjoy that. I like looting all the little stuff on the side. Most people just run fast and ignore them, but I love. I love the little, little bit of loots in the sides of the One room. of the stray golems. We might want to sneak past it. Can't I smack it? Um. Chance to pick them. Gotcha. I will take all of my six gold. I'm stinking wealthy. By the way, I th how many crowns do I have? Oh my god. <laughs> I have 60,000 crowns. Okay. I, um, yeah, I just like, I usually just leave Elder Scrolls Online Plus on, even when I'm not playing. So it just builds up because it's a nice deal on the free currency on the currency. So I just let it, and it just piles in the pile. And I, when I go back to play it, um, when they do an update, 
I have lots of crowns. It's always nice because um, even if you don't play during the months your subs active, you still get the currency that goes to the pile. It's nice. And then when then you can um, because when you're playing actively when you have the sub, you're tempted to spend those crowns every month. Oh, hello. But if you're not playing, then you won't spend them. They just pile in a big pile, and you can buy the expensive houses and stuff. Ooh, a big old room. Um, don't loot. All the gear in the starter area is goes away after a while. Lightning staff. Like, it's all temporary gear that has no value. So don't bother looting too much of it. Um, is there a two-handed hammer? I'll take the restoration staff just to have one. I shall take the um, lightning staff. Is there? There's nothing in here. Let's get out of here. Yeah, the infinite crafting storage bag is what is my favorite part of the, the optional subscription because it's like. You don't ever have to micromanage uh, materials for crafting. You just dump everything in the bag, and then if you ever need it, you know, you have tons of it. And it cut, because you have it, you cut down a lot of micromanagement of storage and stuff. Almost there. Let's hurry. Oh, let's, um. Light armor equip. I should be equipping armor of every skill line just so it, um, I start getting those skill trees. Right. The entrance to the Key Rides Gallery should be east of here. Let's set out. Ma'am, I don't know what a east is. I will go east. Change camera's perspectives. And you can also play this in, uh, first person. Like this. Or third person. I recommend third person because um, it's often hard to see indicators on the ground um, for AOE abilities if you're in first person. So I, I do recommend third person. But if you're not doing hard combat, you can totally do first person easily. We're all hide scraps. Yeah, trials and trials and dungeons you need to be in third person, but most of the um the questing stuff you can totally do in first person easily. Aha! I have gold. Uh, Adventurous Breaches is medium. Put that on. Let's see. Do I have any heavy armor? No. Level three. Uh, let's go. Stamina again. And then let's get the Dawn's Wrath skill lines. Get one of each tree on there, so that way we can start leveling up each tree. Crown fortifying meal. Lock pick. Uh, it lasts for two hours. We shall do it for two hours. Boost all our stats. Die, lady!
The Keyrite's gallery is in here. Let's head inside. Well, I shall go inside then. The best part about this game, in my opinion, is um, questing. It's probably one of the best MMOs to quest in because the quests are all voice acted. They take place all over the Elder Scrolls world. So you get to see uh, places that you normally don't get to see in the Elder Scrolls games. Uh, heavy armor. Put that on. And then, uh, exploring the world's fun, too. Like, if you like looting and things. And crafting is very good in this. It's definitely a zone of strengths. Is questing, crafting, and exploring. It's a vi It's probably one of the most, if not the most, solo-friendly MMOs ever. Because in-game raid gear in this is great but it's not necessary to do any most of the content like uh well, the only thing you have to group for is dungeons, well, this is upsetting and they're just like story but you don't even have to do them if you don't want to sorry ma'am i was looting my bad jeffa's bones the surge of magicka created by the portals you came through oh, it must have cracked this sky shard Without a functioning sky shard, this gate remains locked, and there's no way for us to proceed. Damn! Is there no way to fix it? Unless you have a set of enchanting tools and a working knowledge of meteoric empowerment theory, no, there's nothing for it. We need to find a replacement. Yeah, the lore is really good. If you like the Elder Scrolls lore, this takes place thousand, I think about a thousand years before Skyrim. So um, you get to see how the world was a thousand years ago. And like some ancient stuff. Where can I find a uh, replacement sky shard? I saw one in a vault just south of here a few days ago, but it was flanked by one of the island's more powerful golems. Normally, I'd say we should search for another option, but given the circumstances, I think we have to risk it. Hmm. All right, let's find that sky shard. Can I ask you something before we set out? Of course. Let's not tarry too long, though. What are sky shards exactly? Giant clusters of meteoric glass. They fall from Aetherius, charged with raw and very potent magicka. Mages use sky shards in all kinds of rituals and experiments. We Dureni use them as a power source. What kind of golem did you see near the sky shard? It's a monstrous sentinel called a gargoyle. I've never seen one fight, but by all accounts, they are far more powerful than the golems we face thus far. Goodbye. Well, we'll have to find more sky shards. I actually like looking at the gear before I loot it to see what's inside. Uh, the drops work. Um, just watch four hours of Elder Scrolls Online streams this uh, until June 10th. So you have eight days to um, just watch any any increment of four hours. You can add it, do it on separate days if you want. Just like hour here, hour there. And then um, you'll unlock two Ouroboros crates and then a house pet, a ghost cat. Back that way. Acquire the sky shot. All right. Do you see that vault to the south? The sky shot is there. Sorry, I found the quest marker. Hello, and thank you. Dan will troll and only stream for three hours and 59 minutes today. <laughs> I'll just cold hard stop the stream, therefore you're, you, you'll be at like one second to go. Like, no! Sky Shard Vault. Bun stash. There it is, the sky shard. This gargoyle self! Foul creature, die! May the lights burn you! Get out of the way now! Counter and kill! Burn with holy lights!
Did you just absorb the energy of that shard? Yeah. Oh, incredible. Not quite what I intended, but we can work with this. Let's head back to the gate. I'm kind of amazing. I'm secretly the paladin in an orc disguise. Or actually, I'm a I'm a great descendant of a paladin who comes to save Skyrim many centuries later. And Oblivion. And more and Morrowind. The Great Paladin has saved many of a place in the Elder Scrolls world. Sorry, ancestor. Wrong, wrong word. You're right. All right. Focus on the sky shard ah, aperture. You did it. With any help, it will respond to the power you absorbed and unlock the gate. Yay! Oh. You move slow, ma'am. Hi. I'm afraid we've reached the really scary bit. The Daedric creature responsible for all these portals waits just beyond that gate. If you have any other preparations to make, make them now. Do you have any advice on how to slay this thing? Again, I'm just a scholar, but I'd encourage you to remember what we practiced before. Keep moving, strike true, and exploit any opening the creature gives you. Uh, thank you, Thy Metal the Great, for that resub. Appreciate that. And Avessa, first F10, Forgotten Ash. Thank you very much, guys. Goodbye. See. All these lovely crafting materials. Not bone. Natural water. Oh there it god! Is. Send it back to oblivion! I die, evil creature! Wither and die! Burn and holy fire! Near word. You cannot kill what cannot die. <laughs> you just died as you said that. You did it. Hopefully the gallery wasn't too badly damaged. Follow you, me. You cannot kill what cannot die. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. My bad. Heirloom necklace, increase health by 800 bucks. Points, not bucks, points. Durr. Sometimes there are skill books. If you open all the shelves on the side, you get a free skill up. So make sure you open the I books. I hold the sometimes. stars. Look at the central column. I had no idea it was concealing something like this. Let's get a closer look. What is that? It looks magical. It looks to me like the end of a tutorial and the opening of the real game. So we're, this was a tutorial added a few uh, patches ago where you can now this choose right what area you want to start your character in. It. So you can choose if you want to go through the main quest, one of the expansion packs, now I see why we never managed to unlock the gates. Their they, power comes from this arcane helix. Amazing. With the helix exposed, these gates can finally reopen. Perhaps not all of them at first, but enough to reach most of Tamriel. The question for you, I suppose, is where to first? Hmm. Can you believe this? Just look around. With this arcane helix exposed, the chamber is positively crackling with magic. The Keyrite's gallery has come to life, and I finally think I know why. What do you mean, did it come to life? Because of you. Matters in Tamriel are bleak. War rages in Cyrodiil. Daedric princes conspire. Dragons ride the winds of elsewhere. The second era needs a savior. I believe the gallery. Perhaps even the adamantine tower itself chose you. What do you think I shoot next? 
The Keyrites Gallery opened doors to every corner of Tamriel, places I suspect that desperately need a hero's aid. This choice is yours to make, but wherever you choose to go, I'm sure adventure awaits. May the stars protect you. Phrasing on that Moobot message could be a little bit better. What Moobot message? What did Moobot say? Oh, I. S that is um. Oh, what he's saying is um. Type with normal letters, A.K. Letters, not symbols. He thinks that the other language is symbols. That's why he's saying that. Um, I will complete the quest. So, have you chosen where to go? What region of the world strikes your fancy? Not everyone gets to pass instantly from one side of Tamriel to another, you know. This is quite a gift. Uh, do you plan to use one of the doors as well? What, me? No, I've got work to do. The Cinderil will want every bit of this place searched and studied. Since I did the discovering, I'll probably end up leading the effort. Adventure abroad sounds all well and good, but my place is here. Do you really think fate brought me here? Well, fate's sort of a clumsy way to put it. No offense. Honestly, we may never know why you were chosen. But I believe there was intention here. Something, whether it be the stars, the gallery, or the tower itself, placed you here for a reason. What if it was a secret panel of gods, we'll call them developers, and they wanted us to choose where to go in the world and give us the power? The great developer gods have given us this power. And Shizel, what brought it here? Perhaps it followed you to prevent you from reaching your, well, destiny sounds a bit too grandiose. Let's just say to stop you from reaching your potential. Then again, maybe the power of this place brought you here to stop Shizel. Thank you, Agent Smart, for 10 gifts us for chat. What a chad. Agent Smart being a chad. I guess we'll never know. Probably not, but what's a life without unanswered questions, right? Boring, if you ask me. Do you think well, you'll ever, un ever unravel the mysteries of this place? Ha! Huh, an elf can hope. Answering that question will probably keep me occupied for the next hundred years. Is the helix connected to the adamantine tower? How does it perceive distant corners of Tamriel? I may never understand it, but I'll do my best. If that's where I should go? It is a bit overwhelming, isn't it? The whole of Tamriel is stretched out before you. We could start with the political considerations. Three great alliances vie for control of Cyrodiil. Does the fate of the Pact, Covenant, or Dominion interest you? I'd like to travel outside the borders of the Three Alliances. I don't blame you. Interprovincial intrigue is the basis of my whole profession, and even I find it tiresome after a while. I suppose that widens the map a bit. Where else could I find adventure? Well, as I said before, threats to Tamriel have grown like weeds practically everywhere. Well, let's look around. So we have Blackwood. We have Karyat's Roost. Strauss Mackay. Bleak Rock Isle. Vardenfell. Um, Western Skyrim, Somerset Isle, Elsewhere, should I go here or elsewhere? Hmm, um, I think Bleak Rock Isle is the latest, ex latest expansion, right? Is Bleak Rock the one, the latest one? What's the, um, what was the latest expansion? Blackwood? New Strauss McCoy. Bleak Rock. Modern Fell. Skyrim, Somerset. 
Oh, um, is it this one? Oh, black. Okay, the middle one's the most recent. Blackwood. There we go. Let's go to Blackwood. Seems this portal leads to Blackwood. On the southern border of Cyrodiil, I read an intelligence report about a series of high-profile murders with links to the region. Daedric mischief, too. A warrior like you could do some real good there. Let's travel to Blackwood and start the Gates of Oblivion storyline. I knew I felt something strange, like glass shattering in the distance. Murdered, and so close to the city gates. Keep your voice down. Do you want to start a panic? Until we know more, I'm not prepared to engage in an all-out war with the Dark Brother. Too many times, dry skins have come to our swamps in an attempt to claim them. These Imperials seemed no different. I had a vision of a shadowy figure. It was a robed and hooded cultist. It was brief and powerful, over in a moment. But the figure felt evil. Now who are these cultists? And how well do you trust your masters in Leowen? Daedra. Daedra are pure evil. Well, chaos, but evil. You there. The Ivory Brigade has need of you. Um. Hello to you, too. Hi. You look like you've got your wits about you. Care to make a bit of extra gold working for Leowin's Ivory Brigade? I've been asked by my captain to find someone who can handle themselves. We need help with a delicate situation. I am a great and powerful worker. Of course I can handle myself. What's the situation, Mike? Deadly secrets. Assassins. Murder. Now apparently a counselor has gone missing. Between the war, bandits, and cultists, the Ivory Brigade is like the Nord that tries to plug a leaking cask of mead, only to realize he doesn't have enough fingers. What do you need me to do? Talk to my commander, Captain Rian Lior. You can find him just outside the city gates, trying to appease some of the nobles. Tell him I sent you, and he'll put you right to work, I'm sure. I'll go to speak to Captain Rian Lior. Sounds like murder, chat. Murder. Can you imagine murder? All right, let's see. Skill. Oh, do I have to redistribute these on every character? Ooh. Max Magica. Max Magica. Critical chance per stage. Max stamina per stage. Let's go stamina first. And Magicka. And then, um... Oh, there's a whole thing here. Oops. Magicka and stamina, and then let's go crit. Stat, flat stat bonuses are great for new characters. Oops. Champion is equal equal sign. <laughs> I would not have thought of that one. Alright, what we got here? Um boost the cost of dodge per stage. Uh boost the cost of block per stage. Dodge your next dodge is roll uh dodge is free of cost. After two minutes fed, you cannot gain it back in for thirty seconds. Fifty points to gain that. Ooh. Sprint re reduced block reduced. I'll be, I'll be sprinting a lot, so I'll take that one. 
reduce the cost of sprint 50 per second when it affects the crowd control. Uh, movement speed per stage. This is like the um, in-game system where once you start getting the in-game, you max out your characters, and you can put this in this tree once you hit max level. It's a bunch of different stuff. Gold gain per stage, radius protected while sneaking. Um, let's go. Bonus gold. I like gold. The radius should be detected while sneaking. Alright, what was I doing? Um, got Adventurous Strongbox. They call it that? This game does have a hefty amount of consumables. Uh, skills. Oh, I leveled up. Um, let's get Restoring Light to level up that skill tree. We'll have one of each on our bar. And a self heal is always lovely. Thing real fast. Okay, let's go down to, um, looks like, oh, there's a sky shard right behind us over here. It says behind, st oh, I see it, sky shard. Sky shards are hidden all over the world and give you uh, skill points. So if you collect um, increments of three, so you want to go around and find all of them. They're free skill points. I think the main quest explains what sky shards are. So you got one of three there. Love to watch you play Elder Scrolls. Well, I'm glad you like watching. Oh, uh, is it Z? What is the mount button? Skills, collection. H, thank you. Ah, Ooh, that's a majestic mount. So blowy. All right, let's go ahead and get to the um, the quest guy. Looks like he's kind of far away. Looks like they made this quest um, this area quite large. Yeah, he's a majestic elk-looking mount. Kind of awesome. Yo. 
one of the first skills I like to get is the detecting of herbs and minerals and stuff. Because you'll run across so many crafting materials, you just want to grab them all. But sometimes it's hard to tell which is which is the herb you can loot and which one you cannot. I think this is no, none of these. Well, luckily you get a skill line where you can um, it'll highlight on the map where they are. Uh, oh, he's behind me. Oop. Going too far. Yeah, Outer Schools Online has a very healthy player base because it's on console and PC. And everyone, I think, plays together. No matter where you play. You have my word. If the counselor is in Leowin or the surrounding countryside, the Ivory Brigade will find her. Hello. Not now, citizen. Can't you see I have my hands full at the moment? All no crossplay? I'm sure a guard or one of my brigadines can assist Oh, never mind you. then. Hopefully one day they can get crossplay going where they can get everyone playing with each other. Heard you were looking for help. Brigadine Antonius sent me. <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Leowin's problems are legion, and now the Wood Elf Archer's predictions seem to be coming true. Damn these old Imperial secrets. Counselor Jiric has disappeared, and the Ivory Brigade is already spread too thin for my liking. Tell me more about this Wood Elf Archer and the Imperial Secrets. The Wood Elf, Everly Sharp Arrow. She brought news that the Dark Brotherhood was targeting members of the Elder Council. All because of some secret of the Longhouse Emperors. We took her warning seriously, but Jiric refused Brigadine protection. You think the Dark Brotherhood harmed Councilor Yurik? With that guild of assassins, I'm not sure what to think. But Jiric is missing, and I don't have enough brigadines at the ready to conduct a proper search. You look capable. So, care to earn some gold and help us determine the Councilor's fate? I'll help find Councilor Yurik. Here, let me update your map. These are places Jiric visits during in. her daily routine. If something befell her, it happened somewhere along this path. Meanwhile, I have Everly Sharp Arrow checking locations in the city. She was very eager to help. What else can you tell me about Counselor Yurik? Counselor Jirik was a member of the Imperial Elder Council, back when we still had an empire. Now her title is mostly ceremonial. But she continues to assist the Legates by serving as an intermediary with the local nobility. The Legates? Since the collapse of the Empire and the dissolution of the Elder Council, Leowin has become an independent city-state. Countess Caro sits on the throne, but the Chamber of Legates governs the city. You have a Countess, but the Legates are in charge? I suppose the Countess is technically the highest authority in Leowin, but she leaves the administration of the city to the Chamber of Legates. Leviticus, another former council elder, leads this august body, along with Tabezako and Amhalu. Tell me about the locations you marked on my map. Councillor Jiric is a creature of habit. Her daily routine is to stroll along the river and stop to read near a cave across the way. While Everly Sharp Arrow examines spots the councillor frequents in the city, you should check these locations. Who's Everly Sharp Arrow? Everly Sharp Arrow is an adventurer from Valenwood, though I get the sense she's relatively new at the job. She recently arrived with news of a threat against the former members of the Imperial Elder Council. I was skeptical at first, but now... I love watching Dan's MMO playthroughs. They are super calm. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying. It's nice and chill, drama-free. Tell me about the threat. What did Evely say? She told us that the late Emperor Leovic Stewart was murdered by the Dark Brotherhood. Apparently, it pertains to some secret of the Longhouse Emperors. But those details she discussed with Counselor Leviticus. The Dark Brotherhood, huh? Well, they are dangerous sort. And how do you how do other members of the Elder Council fit in? Evely found a number of documents pertaining to this secret. One of these contained a list of names. The steward and some of the counselors. She assumed that since the steward had already been killed, the rest of the list might be next. Tell me more about the situation here in Leowin. On paper, Countess Caro rules Leowin. 
But in practice, the Chamber of Legates governs the city. Legates to Bezako and Amhalu, and Councillor Leviticus. They handle day-to-day -day tasks. Me? I'm commander of the Ivory Brigade, Leowen's militia. You mentioned your soldiers were stretched too thin? Indeed. Since the fall of the Empire, the Ivory Brigade had to redouble its efforts to replace the Imperial Legions. We maintain active defenses in the north to keep the ongoing war at bay. But we have our hands full with refugees, bandits, and such. Ongoing war? The Three Banners War. Let the Alliances fight over the Ruby Throne as long as they leave us in peace. I just wish I had more soldiers to spare for this new threat that Everly Sharp Arrow brought to our attention. I... This sounds tricky. I will go investigate. Captain, are you really trusting the fate of Counselor Jirik to this... this outsider? Oh, why didn't How Counselor dare you? your warnings? Just if because I'm an orc. If the Brigade requires mercenaries to do their job, perhaps Leowen needs different protectors. Wow. Just because I'm a, I'm an orc, they've got to discriminate against me. Orcs are always Yo. oppressed in this game. It's not Yo. fair. So rude. I just want to be a hero and save people's lives, but they treat me like I'm the Daedra. It makes me sad. What is this? Go. I also want those stones. Lay when Alcrit skirts way shine. Way shrine. Alright, one of the places we need to investigate is along the river. So we're trying to find look at her um, places she's frequents. Figure out where the hell she went. Orcs are way too smelly to be heroes. Wow. How dare you? In my own chat, you would insult orcs like that. That is shameful. Hmm, what is this? Looks like a lovely, oh, some pie. Butter. Counselor Yerik, Oba's letter finds you in good health and better spirits, my old friend. Though years have passed since I was Emperor Le Leowick's steward and you were one of his elder counselors. I fear the secrets of Longhouse. The Longhouse Emperors continue to haunt us. You and other members of the Elder Council are in grave danger. Actions that you and your colleagues performed over the years, the Longhouse Emperors have inadvertently made you targets of an as yet unknown entity or entities. Of course, we both know that you were only following orders, performing your duties. Unfortunately, those who haunt you care little for the reasons. They only want you to eliminate anyone who may know even the tiniest fraction of Emperor Leoric's final secret. I would, I wish I could provide you with more information, but for now, this is all I know. If I learn anything further, I will be in touch. For now, please be cautious and sleep with one eye open. Pharaoh Lupus. Hmm. So it sounds like he was the target of something. Some sort of assassination plot for something he did with some emperor. He may know something about an emperor. An emperor's long lost secret. This is some like ancient secret someone wanted to have forgotten, but. They don't want people to know. It's going to be interesting. Say, what the hell is going on here? It's very sus. Very, very sus. Okay. The other place we have to look is find a cave over that way. Get our mount. Yes, chat. Very sus. Go ahead and work our way over towards the cave and see what we can find over there. It 
maybe if we can get a couple of herbs on the way, that would be just lovely. Take the torch bit, uh, bug because we need that for fishing. A bog dog. It's not a hot dog. I'm not seeing any. Whoop! Evil! Level up! Alright, um, let's do. Medium stamina, maximum stamina, experience from kills. Hmm. I'll take medium armor. And let's go more stamina. For now. And then we have one of each skill line. What about weapons? Surprise to me with a deep lunge dealing damage, afflicting the minor main, reducing their damage down by five. Soul magic, fill a soul gem. Solar flare, conjure a ball of solar uh, energy. <laughs> Heave an enemy. Um, grants you empower for three seconds, increasing your damage your light and heavy attacks by 40%. Ooh. That sounds like a good one to have. Very, very holy hybrid. Not seeing any herbs. What are all my herbs? So the the regular herbs are so oh there's some jute. Sometimes they're really hard to spot. Mm -hmm. Alright, here's a cave. Let's see what's in here. Hello there. Backpack, water. Letter to Counselor Leviticus. Chief Counselor Leviticus, while our time serving together the Imperial Elder Council is long past, I still consider you to be both a colleague and a friend. I know I ignored the warning the Wood Elf brought you. Refuse to believe that old secrets still had any power, any danger. I was wrong. I received a letter from Ferro Lupus today, which is the which, if the reports of his death are accurate, he must have been sent before he was murdered, and I fear that I am being followed. I thought I caught a glimpse of a dark figure watching me from the rocks during my island walk this morning. I was so rattled by the sight that I dropped Feru's letter. Didn't realize I had lost it until I had almost reached the cave. This must be related to the project Emperor McMotokar gave me some 20 years back. He needed caretakers for some sort of storage vaults, and I procured them. Set up the contracts, paid the cost, but that was so long ago. Even as I write this, I can feel the noose tightening, drawing tight. You receive this, tell the others. Convince them to heed this warning, accept your assistance. The secret of the Longhouse Emperors. I think this time, it really will be the death of me. Counselor Yerik. What is this counselor secret? Counselor Yerik? Hey! Oh, pardon me. You're not the counselor. Hello, lady. Who are you? Apologies. I heard you stumbling about and thought it might be Counselor Jirik. Who are you? Oh, no one important, I assure you. I'm simply one of the Counselor's aides. I help her with paperwork, mostly. Run errands, that sort of thing. Captain Rian sent me to find the Counselor. He thinks she might be in danger. She initially refused the Captain's offer, but she received a letter that made her... Uneasy. Last I saw, she was headed back to the city by way of the Eastern Gate. But she never returned to her manor, so I came to look for her. Please, find her. Let's hope she's not already dead. She was stubborn. 
All these people are so damn stubborn, refusing help, and end up getting killed. All because of their stupid pride. Alright. Oh, I see some treasure. Soiled tapestry threads. Ooh. A lead. Tomato bursh. A recipe. I love finding, um... I love finding, um... Recipes and stuff and little side loot things. Ooh, I see. Enchanting. This game's enchanting system is very different from the base games. You collect uh, little stones with uh, phrases on them, and you use those to, to enchant stuff. River Troll. Lucky adventurer. Our chances are non-existent. The blue Wamazu outpowers us when riding low in the water. I refuse to let my treasure fall in their hands. I leave that honor to you. Across the harbor from Leowin lies a waterfall. Follow the water to its source. Progress 90 paces southwards towards the spring. An old fortress I once had the honor to raise to its foundations waits for you. Dig by the base of the tree that stands in the northeasternmost corner. Happy hunting, my friend. Whatever happens, make sure the world never forgets your name. Voldar, Terror of Tropical Bay. Um, hi, I will drop in uh, four days on the 6th. So this is a good chance to um, go back and get a character already for the expansion that's coming soon. It'll launch on PC on the 6th, and then it'll launch on... Um, it'll launch on um, console on the 21st. Stop influencing you. But I did many years ago. I don't influence anyone. I simply suggest things. And if people take my suggestions, am I at fault? Can I be blamed if people decide to play the things I play? I think not. Water skin, rye. Heavy sack. Ooh, those have bigger dust in it. Chest. Up. Oh. All right, what's in the chest? Gold, assassins, breach. Ooh, some good armor. Homemade breaches of stamina. Deadlands Assassin Bracers. Yes. Rawhide Guards. Um. Nah, no, those are great. Gensing. You, sir, are a legend I appreciate. Well, thank you very much. It feels good to be appreciated. Um, I think skills is what? Uh, K. Forget how you get the skill line for... You have to buy the skill, the professions skill lines, I think. Hello. Or if you gather enough, does it start popping up? Cooking fire. Game proficient. Oh. Just clicking on the thing gives you proficiency. Perfect. Let's see. Consumables. Jasmine tea. I don't know if there's crafting in here. There are. Yay!
Yeah, so let's go click on a crafting bench and we should get the uh, recipes. When you pick up Sims for again, they're getting werewolves. I will pick up the Sims again when they finally release five and stop trying to pad on endless content onto four. That game is getting more bloated than me after cheese. Yeah, the crafting qu the quest in line, I believe, is just for the rents. I think we just touch the crafting bench and get the skill lines. Oh, let me join the guilds too when I'm here. A fascinating applicate. Welcome. Are you here on Mage's Guild business? What is the Mage's Guild? Yes, of course. We're law keepers across the face of Tamriel. Guild members seek out books, tomes, and ancient scrolls in their travels. Why don't you speak with me for a moment? Perhaps you'd like to join. Let's talk about this Mage's Guild. Always good to speak with another knowledge seeker. Guildmaster Vanus will be pleased. What can you tell me about the Mage's Guild? We're book hunters of a sort. We seek out new information capture it in our libraries, and make copies for distribution across Tamriel. The guild doesn't care about battlefields or boundaries, just knowledge and the acquisition of new tomes. What do I get in return? We provide training in unique spells That's and abilities voice. only available to members. And from time to time, projects crop up for those with an adventuresome spirit. <laughs> You may end up working with the Guildmaster himself. I'm ready to join the Mages Guild. Excellent. You are now a student of the Mages Guild. Easy. Every book you find will now earn you reputation in the Guild. Well, that was easy. Yeah, I was like, you want to join? Cool. Welcome. You're in. Oh, well, thank you. That was very easy. Uh, current location. Oh, some of these places don't have... Don't look like they have, uh, maps. Oh, it's not like, um, Oblivion, where you could just walk in and take everything and become filthy rich. <laughs> Remember in Oblivion, you... Just join the Mage's Guild, go inside, take everything, and then it doesn't count as stealing and you just have infinite money. And then all the best crafting materials. Kind of OP. Alright, well that was the Mage's Guild. No, oh, let's join the Fighter's Guild too. Oh, there he is. Hello. Next time I'm... Welcome to our hall. Are you familiar with the guild? The guild? The Fighters Guild. You should consider joining up. We have a new guild master and a new singular purpose. Why don't we talk for a moment? Sounds good. Let's talk about the Fighters Guild. Excellent. I know we'll all be drawing blades together soon enough. Now, what can I tell you? You mentioned a singular porpoise. Right. Our new guildmaster is an Argonian, sees all colors. She has us all hunting down the danger and their damned anchors. You might have seen them. Enormous chains, plagues of Daedra boil out to lay waste to the countryside. Hard fights. Uh, Twitch clips use um, a very similar process as Argonian names, like three random words. Kappa. Kappa. Mingli. Video like just like three usually clips will have like three random words on them. Uh, it's usually how the Argonians are named like three random words. Sees all colors, wipes own butt, eats lots of cheese. What do I get in return? Ha! Yeah, it's a good question. 
We train our members in special techniques, and the higher-ups are always looking for motivated members to help with special projects. You never know, you might be the next Yofnir. I'm ready to join the Fighters Guild. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you as an associate of the Fighters Guild. Get out there and take the fight to the Daedra. There's lots of Daedra in this expansion, so that's perfect. Welcome. Hmm. Fighters Guild. Armament. Ah, uh, the crafting area. Let's get all the skill lines. So, alchemy. And... Enchanting? Outfits? This game has so much customization with uh, gear. The looks of gear, the stats of gear, the crafting system is... You can craft some of the best gear in the game. So it makes crafting very useful. It's not like other games where like crafting is kind of like an afterthought. Blacksmithing? Did I get all of them? Oh, um, woodworking. You can also craft furniture in this game for your house, which is awesome with woodworking profession. Uh, carpenter, blacksmithing, jewel crafting. I do jewel crafting. Woodworking, visioning, jewel crafting, chanting, clothing, blacksmithing. Out. I think it's all of them. And I already have food, so here we should be good to go. Oh, uh, is there a daily, is there a Ritz person here? I don't see one. Probably not. <laughs> Looks like new. <laughs> so we have woodworking, provisioning, jewel crafting, chanting, clothing, blasphemy, alchemy. Oh, level six. Okay, thank you. Anything else I need to grab in the city? I think that's everything. Which guild is for you? Guild listings. Hello, North Gaming X. Storing light increased. Um, I think that's all of the things. Now we can go back and do our missions proper. Miss mm -hmm. Dan Spy, Spy emotes just aren't used all that much. They were kind of a fad. They're, they're still around. They're just not used as much as they were. They used to be used a lot more in the past. Some emotes kind of die off over over time. They're basically just like, Hi, I'm a sub to someone else, but I'm going to pretend like I'm a sub to you. <laughs> it's like, aw. That the joke always was, oh, I hate those Dan subs. They're a bunch of typers. La 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 la. And you have a spy email that shows that you clearly are one. Oh, I don't have another way shrine. Let's fix that. Those moon subs have so much hair. Ha ha ha. Lol. Apple's introducing NFTs. Everyone is so obsessed with these Someone, NFT things. Anyone? What? Me. Do you need help? Who are you?
Counselor Yurik! I refused to believe, but Farrell, Leviticus, they were right. What happened to you, Counselor? I was attacked. An assassin. <gasps> you, you must warn the others. The Counselors. Leofic's secret. It, it will be the death of us all. <laughs> Counselor Yurik! Counselor Jerick! Uh oh. Damn, we're too late! Dark Brotherhood. Oh no. Damn it. I'm too late. Poor Counselor Jerick. She didn't deserve to die like that. At least I don't think she did. Did you see what happened? Who attacked her? I didn't see who attacked her, but there's a note beside her body. The mark of the Dark Brotherhood. Just like with Faro Lupus. Uh, sorry. I'm working for Counselor Leviticus, the head of the Chamber of Legates. I came to Leowin to warn him after I stumbled across some secret concerning the Longhouse Emperors. I'm working for Captain Rian Lior. He sent me to find the Counselor. What's, what's, this, what's that about a secret? It relates to something called the Four Ambitions of Mayrun's Dagon. I think they're Daedric weapons, but I'm still puzzling that out. I was working for Faro Lupus before he was murdered. Found a strange tome with Daedric markings at his behest. I found a letter to Council Yurk from Faro Lupus. I warned her she was in danger. Yeah, that's what brought me here. I found a list of names. Faro Lupus and members of the Elder Council. It said they all knew something about this secret. Since Faro was murdered, I figured the others were in danger too. Looks like I was right. Who are the other counselors? Let me have your map. I'll mark where Counselors Valeria and Sophus were last seen. Go warn them. Convince them to take precautions. Then meet me at Counselor Jirik's Manor in the city. Maybe we can find something to shed more light on this secret. I'll go warn the Counselors to meet you at Jirik's Manor. I'll get the city guards to come and gather the Counselor's body. She shouldn't just be left out here. Then I'll head to Counselor Jirik's Manor. When you're done checking on Counselor Valeria and Counselor Sophus, meet me there. Tell me more about that strange book you found. So Faro Lupus hired me to retrieve a book from a retreat once used by the Longhouse Emperors. He never told me what it was, and he died before I could ask. The book is... weird. It has weird pages and weird markings, and I can't read a word of it. Is this game worth playing in 2022? If you like single-player Elder Scrolls games, this is one of the best single-player MMOs out there for just questing like you would in a normal Elder Scrolls game. You just level up, go battle stuff, go from quest to quest. It's all fully voiced. It's like playing a very long Elder Scrolls game with some really good quest lines and stuff. I really like it. And if you like crafting and if you like uh, um, searching and looting and stuff, there's tons of that. The only thing that, that's not my favorite in this game is the uh, is the the combat. The combat I think could use an overhaul. But other than that, everything is it's like it's okay. Uh, there's lots of group content too if you want, like dungeons and trials, but you don't have to do any of that. You can play all by yourself if you want. Um, it has it this game ha doesn't do the traditional MMO quest where it's like kill ten boars, gather fifteen gallbladders, bring them back to me. Like those they have actual storylines. Like it's actually a little story not not about like go and grind on boars for five minutes you know so it's that it's very good as you want to play it like that um and that the subscription is optional you don't even have to um pay the subscription so once you buy a set of content you can play it forever if you want but the um subscription is very nice if you like to craft and stuff but overall it's, it's very fun if you like to quest in games like elder scrolls so it's Really long too, so if you like to need something to hold you over for a year, a couple years until Elder Scrolls Six comes out, this is a really good one to like. You know, do some Elder Scrolls quests, learn about the the uh, different zones and things. I really enjoy it. You never learn anything about uh, any, anything else about it. Not much. Farrell's partner said he planned to use it to make things right, but she didn't know how. And it's Daedric, I think. I will say, carrying it, it's kind of a burden. End up in having strange dreams, but I don't want to talk about that. 
Walk me through what you know f so far about the threat against the counselors. Like I said, it all started when I found that strange tome for Faro Lupus, an Emperor Leovic's journal. It was in code, but I got it translated. Sent me to a few hidden Imperial caches where I learned that the Longhouse Emperors had a secret. Right, the secret concerning the four ambitions of Maroon's Dagon. Right, but it turned out I wasn't the only one trying to learn more about the ambitions. A group of cracked acorns called the Order of the Waking Flame. Fanatic Mayroon's Dagon cultists. Had to put arrows in more than one of those bastards. So why is Dark Brotherhood murdering the counselors? I guess someone hired them to eliminate everyone who knows about the secret. The question is, who? And I was told by a more or less friendly Dramora named Lyrinth that the fate of our world was at stake. So of course I want to figure this all out. Goodbye. Um, any of the classes, the the game is not particularly difficult. Um, it's outside of dungeons, so you can play as pretty much any class. Outside of world bosses, dungeons, and trials, you can do everything solo as any class, really. And every class can be both physical or magic. Um, a lot of them can be healers. Um, some of them, they've now done some tweaks to some abilities, so you can now be hybrid, like, weapon with magic. I've, that's what I'm trying to play around with, is, like, trying to mix magic with um, physical and seeing how, like, a hybrid works now. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I like to play this like a single player game. I don't usually play it like a uh, MMO. Warn Counselor Fiera. Guild listing. I don't want that quest. Um, let's do a deadly secret. Did they fix the warden's bear? I didn't. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it. Oh, that's wood. Aha! Looking for the star field? Oh God, yes. I want to see what the hell it's gonna be. There's been so much rumor and speculation and like anticipation of of Starfield. It's gonna be fun, great to finally see what it is, to put all the like what it possibly could be uh, to bed and then see what it actually really is. For realsy. Mundane rune harvester. Looks like there's a quest over here. No, Eva! Hello. Oh, hello. You look like a hardy soul. Unconcerned with the prospect of death by trick, trap, or misadventure. True. How do you feel about helping a defenseless scholar from Gideon unearth a little history from Undertow Cavern? Oh, and can you swim? Um, tell me what you need. Have you heard of Phalevon the Magnificent? He was a famous Nibbanese Minotaur hunter, but his final resting place was lost to time. After years of searching, I think I finally found the site of Phalevon's mausoleum. Why do you need my help? I hope to recover proof that this is Phalevon's tomb. His armor, helm, and sword would do nicely. But I didn't get far before I found the cavern overrun with goblins and minotaurs, and parts of yeah. it are flooded. I'll pay you well to help me. I'll help you search the cavern. No one in Leowin realizes that Undertow Cavern is the final resting place of a great hero. Let me secure my belongings and I'll meet you inside. Time to grab the bull by the horns and wade right in. <laughs> Why do you think this is where Pavlon is buried? I found accounts of Phalevon's burial in a shining mausoleum on a hill outside Leowin. He was laid to rest with his arms and armor, relics of his many victories. This is the place, but goblins infest the caverns, and minotaurs too. I'm curious about these relics we're after. You would be, I suppose. Well, Phalevon the Magnificent had a golden helm. He wore armor of impervious mail. 
And he wielded a sword of exceptional sharpness. It sounds like dramatic names for something, Monday. This is my sword of exceptional sharpness. And my impervious male armor. Talking about Phelan's armor. The stories say that Phelavon had the most beautiful male, impervious to sword, arrow, and spear. We don't know much about armor of his era, but he was known as the Magnificent. I can only surmise his armor was quite splendid. Um, you said he had a really sharp sword? Phelavon's sword was so sharp, it was said to be able to cut the air itself. No, that isn't right. I suppose any sword will cut air. Ah, that's it. This one could cut through armor-like air. That's what I was told. What can you tell about Felon's helm? As I understand it, the helm was a gift from the Lord of Leowin in gratitude for Felavon's many heroic deeds in Blackwood. The stories say it was fashioned in the shape of a roaring dragon's face. Is it possible details have been exaggerated over time? Well, it has been many hundreds of years. I suppose Felavon's arms and armor might not be much to look at now. But in any condition, they would be of immense historical value. I simply know it. You mentioned goblins and minotaurs? I suppose goblins aren't much of a surprise. They infest many caves in this region. Although I had hoped I wouldn't run into any, the minotaurs I didn't expect. None have been seen so close to Leowin in centuries. So where do these minotaurs come from? That's the very question I was wondering about. Wherever they came from, these minotaurs seem very hostile. Enraged, even. I've heard all kinds of fighting inside. I think they're angry at the goblins. Do minotaurs and goblins get along? I don't see a shining mausoleum here. That's because it was swallowed by the earth. One night, 700 years ago, people living nearby heard a terrible sound. When they came to look in the morning, they found that the whole mausoleum had fallen into the caves underneath the hill. Why did the build the mausoleum here, though? Because the caves beneath this hill were the site of Felavon's last and greatest battle. The mausoleum was a monument to his victory, as well as his tomb. Until Undertow Cavern swallowed it up anyway. Goodbye. Alright, well I'll do that in a minute. I wanna first get our try to find the companion. I think there's two companions in this area that happen I forget where they are, but I know you can get the companions. I gotta get it before I start the quest. We weren't expecting visitors. Are you here to see the counselor? Hello. Are you here to speak with Counselor Sophus? I'm afraid my husband has taken our dog for a walk. Is there something I could help you with, perhaps? I need to find the counselor. He may be in danger. Danger? What are you talking about? Does this have something to do with that letter? And who are you, by the way? Captain Rian sent me to check on the counselor, Sophius. Captain Rian? I see. Well, if the Ivory Brigade sent you, my husband likes to walk our dog Chero along the tree line. Go on and find him. I'll wait here in case he returns. Wait, he's alone? Uh oh. You mentioned a letter? My husband, Valen, received a letter from an old friend this morning, Farrell Lupus, Emperor Leovic's steward. I could see that whatever was in that letter upset him, but he didn't want to discuss it, and I didn't push him. Now please, go find him. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I don't think I'm going to find him, ma'am. There's a dog. Hi. Hi. Where's your owner, boy? Something tells me he's not going to be alive anymore. The Dark Brotherhood rarely miss a target. Uh, bug. Damn! I knew it. 
Dark Brotherhood again. Those sons of What's taking Daedra. so long? They should Phelan! No! I thought Captain Rehan sent you to protect my husband. <sighs> this stinks of a killer, ma'am. It's the developer has killed this man for the story, and I'm sorry. I was too late. They already written him as being dead when I found him. You know, Valen acted strange after the letter from Faro Lupus arrived. <laughs> He didn't tell me what it said, and I never asked. Before he left today, he gave me a sealed scroll, said to give it to Counselor Leviticus if anything ever happened to him. Um, yeah, the base game plus Morrowind's only five bucks. Yeah, the Morrowind expansion's really good if you haven't played through that. If you, if you like, you get to go visit a bunch of characters from the old Elder Scrolls lore of Morrowind and see a bunch of the locations from the, the game of Morrowind. And some of them are like... Since it's so far in the past, some of the places look brand new instead of being run down like they were in Morrowind. A scroll? A scroll. Sealed and bearing my husband's stamp. Take it. Give it to Counselor Leviticus. I hope it helps catch whoever murdered my husband. I'll summon the town guard. They'll help me with... with my husband. I'm sorry, ma'am. You know what? That dog is looking a little sus. Mm. Wait a minute. Dog backward is God. Gods are Daedra. No, it's too far of a stretch, I think. Ah, he's just a good boy. I, he wouldn't kill anybody. Right? 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 Unless... I thought I saw a cave when I was running up here. Yeah, there's a cave there. Let's see what's in that little cave. It could be secrets. is in here. This looks very sus. Tribes of Blackwood. Soil ta- Ooh, tapestry threads. Backpack. Coins! <gasps> That's money. I like money. Me and money are good friends. All right, well, looks like the Dark Brotherhood is murdering everybody. So let's hope we can help the next counselor or they're dead too. I think the other one is quite a bit to the south around the city, so let's head that way. Yeah, the antiquity is a uh, profession line where you can um, what do you want? try to discover relics to get you like furnishing and stuff for your house. This has a pretty advanced uh, housing system with really cool looking houses all over the Elder Scrolls uh, world. Lots of way to get furniture in the game, both by playing and you can purchase some too in the store. There's a whole whole section of stuff. Um. Do I have any crown crates? Most crates contain four rewards. Oh, see this? But um, sometimes you will get a special fifth reward. This is a Ouroboros crate. This is one of the Twitch drops. If you watch four hours of um, Elder Scrolls Online over the next uh, seven days, uh, you'll get two of these crates and also a ghost pet. So let's open this crate. An excellent inside. selection. Your rewards are ready. 
Sadly, Poison, you have no more elixir, crates, mimic but you stone. can always purchase more. Goodbye, my Thank friend. you. Yeah, to give you some little in-game consumables and stuff. Uh oh, hello. And got him. Ooh, bug loss. Cause you'd have many crates if you have real coin. Princess harvesting crab. On wrath increased. Hello there. Is there a way to see my buffs in combat? Hmm. Outgoing damage. Incoming damage. Oh, there it is. Automatic. There we go. Mountain flower. Whoever finds me, deliver this letter and the ring in my bag to Turdia, Falto, and Leowen. Dearest Turdia, go ahead and pet it. It's just a harmless mongrel, you said. Little did I know how wrong we both were. Sorry looking mutt was an omen, my sweet and the harbinger of my demise. I can still picture that perfect night in Leowin, your face radiant, resplendent, shining in the sun as we walked among the streets. I wish, desperately wish, I could see it one more time. I wish. I wish I'd given you the ring in my pocket and proposed to you as I planned. I wish I hadn't instead reached down and tried to pet the damn dog. It bit me, of course. But that superficial wound was just a start. Naturally, I couldn't propose to you with blood gushing from my hand. So I bit my tongue, held my peace, and excused myself to the nearest healer. There, a kind Argonian bandaged my wound and provided me a medicinal toad for the pain. Sadly, it proved to be, my, the, to be meager balm for the true injury. As the sun set, I was wrecked by wild fever dreams. The last thing I recall was tearing off my clothes and running, howling into the night. I woke up in someone's chicken coop covered in blood and feathers. Please understand, I do this for you. Were I to see you again while under this curse, I might cause you harm. I couldn't live with myself if that happened, so I won't. I leave you the ring I never gave you. It was meant for you and no one else. Always yours, Aloysius Fulvanus. Aww. I'm gonna sell that. No one will ever know. Ever know. No one will ever know. What? No one will know. Who's gonna know? I get money. If I give it to that person, they're just gonna get sad. This way, they'll never know that he's dead. And they'll be happy forever. You wouldn't snitch though, right? Chat wouldn't chat would never snitch. Mm. Oh, I see a tome for the mages guild. Lore book discovered. Very nice. Wait, a quest? Treasure trove. Aha! Finders, keepers. Stay alert. I have it on good authority that I'm in danger. Of course, Counselor. Hello. Step back and state your business. I have every reason to believe that my life is in danger. If you so much as make a threatening gesture, the Brigadine will dismember you. 
He has very strict orders on that regard. I'm working for Captain Rian Liora. I was told, sent to tell you the threat is real. I was beginning to suspect as much. Very well. Tell me everything that you have learned. Leave nothing out. I want to hear it all. Well, there's a great bandit called Prime Gaming who has stolen hundreds of free Twitch Prime subs and he's giving them away to anyone that has Amazon Prime. Apparently, it's a scheme that if someone clicks on the Daedric subscription button and then uses the power of Prime Gaming, they get a free Twitch sub just by clicking the sub button right now. And they have magical spells called emotes that they cast at will. It's a wondrous thing. And the Dark Brotherhood has already murdered Pharaoh Lupus and Council Yirik. Lupus? Emperor Leovic's old steward? And Jirik as well? Gods, they are targeting the Elder Council. Anything else? Tell me, the slightest detail could mean the difference between life and death. Death Wound, Summon of Prime Gaming, and Derbykins, yes! We think it has something to do with Leovic's secret, something called Four Ambitions. The Ambitions? I heard that term once before, years ago. I must go to Tidewater Cave. I have a cache hidden there, and I need to check my records. Meanwhile, I suggest you find Jirik's files. She kept them in a hidden compartment in her nightstand. Ma'am, if I leave you alone, you're gonna die. That's how, if you ever leave someone out of your sight that people are targeting with, like, your assassins are trying to get, that's when they die. So I have to look at you the whole time, or you're gonna be dead. Your records include information on Leavik's secret? Possibly. I oversaw the Imperial Treasury, so my records deal with expenditures and collections. I have documents going as far back as Emperor Morikar. Possibly even Durkarach. And I know I saw that term someplace. I will see what I can find. How well did you know Counselor Yurik? Extremely well. We were rivals as well as colleagues on the Elder Council. It was that way between all of the Counselors, I suppose. Her death is a tragedy, however. I will miss her. Wait a minute. Elder Council? They probably kept records on pieces of paper and then rolled them up. Elder Council makes Elder Scrolls. Nah, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it's not those Elder Scrolls. I I'm sure I'll see her alive and well very soon. I looked away and she's dead. Well, bye, ma'am. You'll be dead next time I see you, guaranteed. Because that's how these things were. Oh, treasure. Why? Well, I think I will. Iron Helm of Stamina? Yes. I think I will. Oh god, I want to see my... Um, do they have a hide helmet button? Because I want to see my luscious hair always. Find your gameplay. Press you and go to helmet. Oh. Uh... Appearance. Hide your helm. There it is. Perfect. I must see my luscious hair always. I can't hide that under a helmet. My luscious red hair is what makes me the sexiest orc of them all. There will be tales written about the luscious red hair orc of um, ancient past. Wouldn't that be hilarious if you could, like, somehow they would incorporate your old characters into future games. Like, you play this character um, 
an Elder Scroll yeah. line, and then in Skyrim or some other game in the future, there's like a reference to the red haired orc of yeah. that saved Leowin of the past, you know, kind of thing. My luscious locks of vermilion red. Oh, it's starting to rain. Uh -oh. You guys want to hear something exciting and sad because it's not coming out anytime soon? Elder Scrolls 6. One day in the future, we will be able to install that game what is it? and play that game. One day. Probably 2025. Maybe, maybe 2020. Depends on how far along it is. If they have two teams simultaneously working Elder Scrolls and Starfield, it's possible it comes out in two years, but most likely three. Let's hope. But I would lose my damn mind if they somehow surprise announced it at this year's E3 thing. I would lose my shit if they were like, surprise, it's actually almost done. And we'll be releasing it next year. Starfield this year, Elder Scrolls 6 next year. What the hell is that? Is that... Demons! Die, demons! This world to its knees. Ato of Umala... What?! What in oblivion is that?! Oh my god, you can go inside? Oh... Hell no. Dare invade the domain of Mayroon's Dagon. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh my god. Ha. Ha. Okay. Well, this place is dramatically tougher than the outside area. Um This place is not nice at all. Great sword. Bow, sword, mm, battle axe, inferno staff. Mm, let's see if we can get an upgrade. Let's try good old uh, great sword. See how that feels. Take a breath. Oh no, first trash pack done. Oh, hi oh my god, it's a Daedroth! Oh shit!
Oh my god. This is brutal. Okay. I believe this is what's called a public dungeon where you it's like a dungeon that anyone can go inside of without being grouped. Alright, not bad though. This danger plant looks creepy. Um, I, I love the enemy variety. There's so many different enemies. I hope that the next Elder Scrolls game has as much variety in it. Spam! Seems like the the stabby ability number one is very good. Stab, 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 stab. Okay. This is like stab, 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 stab. Very spammy ability. Oh. Alchemy bottle. How do drops work? Um, click on exclamation point. Um, under the link, exclamation point drops, there's a link there. Um, you'll see the campaign on there. Make sure you link your Twitch account to your Elder Scrolls Online account, and then you'll get the drop um, when you log into that account. In, uh, with, uh, it'll get the drop put into that account, and you'll get it when you log into the game. Jab's number one skill for Templars. Last much longer. Uh oh. What do you mean it won't last much longer? Looks like you just spam, 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 spam. So poke, 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 poke. stuff. Flareon, uh oh. Is that the boss? Alright, clear my skews. Let's try to be a little more hybrid and do a, a little more magicas though. 
do a little bit of both. Just die already! Cause I'm stubborn. See these other players were not in a group of they just came in here, so we're doing them together. Cause we're friends now. Gold, though. Oh, God. That guy's big. We go inside now. That was just a mini boss. This reminds me of Oblivion, like going into the portals and grabbing the sigil stone to in the port in the uh, portal. Uh, Twitch drops are to your Elder Scrolls account, so it should be for PC and console. Still going? I'm almost impressed. First, we take this region. Then, we march north. Come on, then! We fight! I'm, I, 
guess these guys know what they're doing. I'm like, I don't know. Uh oh, oops. I'm just kidding, it was a joke. Okay, don't stand so close to him, I guess. Two gold. Leave the atoll of emulation. Fender the plane. So that's like a little tidy mini public dungeon. Just you know, little thing. Wait, what? There's a chest, no! no. Oh. You dare challenge our lord of fire and flood? I'm gonna run all the way back in there. Let's run! No! No! <laughs> Aww. Oh well. Well. Now we know, loot the chest, if there's a chest. I did not see a chest, so, oh well. Next time. Everyone does that at least once. <laughs> and that was my one. Let's go get our um, companion. I made a new character for this. We're currently level uh, five. Uh, there is a NPC, I think, to the south down here that we can get a as a companion. I got a fire help me, please. I only know defensive spells. Sorry, no, ma'am. Sorry, not today. I think he's somewhere down this way. The lady companion is really far to the north. She's really far out of the way. We'll get her eventually, but she's just like so far away. Uh, oh, thank you, Ben Grimm, but I like to take things nice and slow and explore everything little by little. I like to take my time with characters and look at all little details of the world and stuff. I don't like the power level. In this game, specifically. A 
way shrine over here. Hello, way shrine. All right, then I think he's a little bit to the south. Get in there. Yeah, thanks to the um, update that made everything. The game used to be like, like wow, in other games where like every zone had a level and you had to be that level to go to that zone. But they changed that, so now you can go anywhere from any level. So you can uh, just play it the way you would normally play an Elder Scrolls game. Go wherever you want. Perhaps this was not such a grand idea. Ah, you have caught me in a moment of indecision, stranger. I set out with the idea of looking into strange rumors concerning Deep Scorn Hollow. Now that I have had some time to think it over, I find that I lack the courage for the task. Who are you? What sort of rumors have you heard? I am Zeechus. I deal in rumors, especially the sort that hinted opportunities. For example, there is a cave called Deep Scorn Hollow on an island by the coast. It is said to be a smuggler's den. But that is not the only rumor about the place. What else have you heard about it? Strange figures in hoods. Travelers who disappear. Masked nobles and dark revels. Smuggler's tales to scare off the locals? Or something more? You seem brave. Perhaps you are interested. Remember your old friend Zeechus if you find riches there. I'll go and investigate these rumors. Uh, level six just by crossing a bridge? Hell yeah! I crossed that bridge so epically. Hmm, let's see. Two handed, crafting, racial, max stamina. Max health? Um, let's go for Brawny. Racials are usually pretty good. <laughs> 